summer girl. There's really nothing that beats like a rainy morning on the porch with your coffee. So I'm gonna try to enjoy at least five minutes because the boys are sleeping in. They're definitely gonna be up any second. And just like read a couple verses and start my day off with prayer. I've been doing gratitude journaling again and that's been really, really helping in my season of life. Um, but yeah, right now like Bible study and time in the word is really like little snippets throughout the day instead of so much waking up and like having two hours before um but you know jesus tells us like our cup will overflow with him and if we seek we will find and to stop and take a drink my friend lexi has been texting that to me she says take your drink take your drink to stop and drink from the living water and we need that literally multiple times a day, especially in motherhood. So I feel like little bits and pieces throughout the day are still just as meaningful. But this weather, I love it. I'm going to vlog today, um, but I don't want to waste any more time, so I'm going to do this. to get back into Bible studies on my channel, but I'm still praying into that and trying to figure out what the Lord wants me to do. But I'm reading James chapter 2, which if you don't know, I have a whole Bible study series on the book of James. It's actually like where my channel really started. Um, and chapter 2, it says, it's talking about like our expectations as Christians to follow the law. And... Um, you shall love your neighbor as yourself and show no partiality to people and then it talks about faith without works and I feel like a lot of people take this out of context and because it says faith without works is dead that does not mean that that faith does not believe that that person does not believe or that that person is not saved but it means that that faith produces no fruit it shows essentially no value in the kingdom because if you can believe that Jesus came and died and he died for your sin and their sin and their sin and covered like everything so that we could have a life with him and a relationship with him if you can believe that and not want to change the way that you live then your faith didn't do anything at all um, it should want it should make you want to live differently the example that he gives is if a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking food and one of you says to them go in peace be warmed and be filled without actually giving them the things that they need for their body what good is that so faith by itself does not have works it is dead meaning like if you see a need and you do not use your faith and like your changed heart to put work into it and to see those needs and to try to meet the needs and to try to help people and love people then essentially you have faith but you're not living out the the mission like we're we're, we're called to have faith and live out a mission here go and make disciples and to show people that the lord loves them and that they can have this freedom too and so i just thought that was encouraging to just like remind myself it's not enough to have my little tiny relationship with the lord my cozy morning bible studies that's not enough um, I mean, it's enough, but that's not why we're here. We're here to not only have communion, like, between me and the Lord every single day, but to try to get other people to experience that through the way that we love them and the way that we show love to them. And, yeah, I just thought that was really encouraging. Then I'm going to go wake my babies up. It's 8 o'clock. And we gotta get the day rolling. Um, I am gonna be running some errands today by myself. So, figured it would be kinda nice to vlog. I'll probably just do a daily vlog today. Just a real short one. I think I've shared this before, but if you want an easy breakfast, it's probably not the healthiest thing in the world, but I can do this, I do this like several ways. I've done it with turkey, ham, cheese, 
um, but we just recently found if we do like an apple maple breakfast sausage link and then you get croissant dough I cook an egg but I cook it really flat like I whisk it and then I cook it really flat and I cut it into strips now we do egg cheese sausage roll it up in a croissant and it's just a really easy grab-and-go breakfast and it's just like a more fun way to do breakfast if you struggle with breakfast also, these eggs are from my friend's little homestead chickens. My friend Mariah brings me eggs to church. I'm a lucky woman and I know that because eggs are expensive right now. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I should like bake her something to thank her for always giving us her eggs. But I'm gonna make this really quick and then it looks like the boys are up, so I'm gonna go. Very sloppy, but this is what it looks like when they're done. Just like an easy peasy breakfast. We'll probably have like some fruit with it and who knows, but. But both boys are awake and both boys are happy. So that makes mama happy. That's so cute, man. You looking at the pictures on the wall? Get him changed and get him dressed for the day. Pick out some clothes for myself. Get Bellamy dressed and start the day. I'm not entirely sure if this will fit him, but he runs, he runs big. I'm gonna put him in this little dinosaur outfit. Big boy, he's doing his tummy time. Oh, everybody gets mad at tummy time. Thanks for the toy, Bill. Here you go, let's go get you dressed. that I get to clean the kitchen before nap time. I like, to always clean the kitchen after breakfast when it was just me and Belle, but it's a little bit harder with two kids now. And today we actually got to and he helped. So the kitchen's nice and clean and ready for lunchtime and all of that. And the house itself is actually pretty clean. I have been trying to stick to like my nightly tidy um, before bed and make sure that I like get everything done and I just filled up all my diffusers So the house smells good. It's just a great day to have a great day I'm having a good mindset because yesterday I had one of those mom days where I didn't want to do it. Okay, we're gonna go Oh Can you come upstairs? Yeah, we're gonna bring um, Theo a hole well, don't bite it. Put Theo down for his nap. Ready? Come on. Now it is morning nap time for baby. And uh, this is kind of different day to day, but like typically if we're home and we're not planning on leaving the house right away, I will just put him down in his bassinet in our room and he will sleep for a while. But I'll probably have to wake him up because I'm taking him with me to run errands today. Alright, I am actually, plot twist, running these errands alone. I decided to leave both 
video and Bo with my mom. So I'm at Target. I'm going to look for a little birthday gift for Austin because his birthday is tomorrow. And normally I plan way ahead for birthdays, but I just dropped the ball this year. Obviously I have excuses, but I don't want to use those excuses because birthdays are still important to me. So I'm going to go in. We'll see what we come up with. I am back home and I put um, my toddler down for his nap and then fed this one and now he's just gonna chill with me for I actually think I need to pump because he slept pretty good last night and so we had a lot less night feeds and I just feel like I'm still like too full and he's spitting up a lot when I try to feed him but I'm gonna run you through what I got at Target really quick I was only gone for about an hour and 20 minutes and I really needed some makeup stuff. I really needed concealer and I grabbed the wrong shade and I just was too lazy to go back and get it so I just put it back. Um, but I grabbed this contour stick, new mascara, and a lash brush because I want to try to start doing that to see if it makes my lashes look thicker. We'll see. And then I needed more tips for my razor. But what I really went for was my husband's birthday is tomorrow so I try to make a big deal about birthdays. He really does not care. But we've kind of had like a rough go of it <laughs> this year so far. Honestly, like the last whole year between just like financial things, job stress, um, family stress, and just life in general. It's been like pretty intense. And so I just really want to make him feel extra special and just give him like you know a good day we went on a date this past weekend for his birthday to celebrate together and then I planned something for his friends to come and celebrate him tomorrow on his actual birthday but like I said we're balling on a budget so I tried to shop very smart and I did everything clearance mostly but I got him a card from me and then a card from the boys <laughs> and the card from the boys is really sweet it's um Dad, I hope your birthday is perfect in every way, and if it isn't, I bet you can fix it. You can fix anything. Happy birthday. He is Mr. Fix-It around here. Like, Austin always has his tools, and I just thought it would, and Belle's always super interested in it. I thought that was like a perfect card. And then I got him some stuff for his beard. He's got a big, burly beard now. I never show Austin on my channel, just because, honestly, when I vlog, he's at work. And so, it's just, he's just not in it, really. But um, he's got a big beard now. And so I got him some shea butter beard conditioning oil and then um, some beard wash from Shea Moisture. He's been like saying he wants to take better care of it. I got him this really butter soft sweatshirt. That was the most expensive thing I got for him. And then these shoes were on clearance for 70% off. So I got them for around $15. And he's such a sneaker dude. He also just like loves to have many options for shoes. So I see you. He is so cute. So I got him these shoes and I'm putting everything in this cute little tote. When I buy gifts for people, I try to buy, if it's affordable, I'll buy a tote or a basket or thrift a basket instead of a waist of a bag um, that way they can use it to organize things or whatnot and then this throw blanket is super super soft this was more of an impulse purchase for the house but I'm putting it in here because he like always sleeps with soft blankets and stuff and I just thought it would make the gift look even cuter and then he loves sour candy I wanted to get him more heads but I can't find them anywhere so I got him those sour punch bites and I'm going to put the cards in there and then I'm going to get up early and make him like biscuits and gravy I think before work because that's his favorite like breakfast and we'll probably um I'll probably stay up tonight and like hang some decor that we just reuse for birthdays and stuff. I love you. Hi Mr. Man. He's just staring at me while I'm talking. That's what I got, and oh, I also got this cup for Belle. It's like stainless steel, insulated, and it's leak proof, and the straw is removable to clean it. And it's adorable, and we're always kind of needing more sippy cups, especially ones that don't leak, and I just couldn't resist it. Probably should have not bought it, but that's okay. Anyways, I'm going to put some stuff away, I think. So Belle is down for his nap right now, and I think I'm going to try to clean my room 
and do some laundry and just like some housework stuff and maybe plan like a fun activity for him and I to do together after he wakes up from his nap because um, it's pretty gross weather outside today so I'm gonna try to get creative. Oh boy. I think he's awake. <laughs> This always happens to me when I vlog, I swear, like, my kids don't nap. I think he's been asleep for 30 minutes. He usually naps for like two and a half hours. It's fine. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. slightly forward and you're keeping a slight bend in your knees when you come up so the tension stays on the glutes keeping the elbows oh I'm so happy I actually squeezed in a workout it was only 20 minutes but we got it in feels weird to vlog in a sports bra but to think that I used to exclusively do fitness content and now I'm like struggling to squeeze in a 20 minute workout Oh, how life changes, but um, I made my bed, switched over some laundry, and I put dinner in the crock pot. We're going to have barbecue chicken pizza tonight, but it's really just flatbreads that I'm going to put on this. Would love to make my own out of sourdough, but <laughs> my sourdough, I've been really, I haven't been the best at remembering to feed my sourdough, so we're actually going to do that right now while I'm talking about it. And then, who knows what we'll get up to this afternoon. Probably time to switch jars for my sourdough. I'm also going to preheat my espresso machine because I think I'm going to make another coffee. I'm super curious how many of my subscribers do sourdough. Because I feel like, for the most part, we all have very similar interests. And if you don't do sourdough, why not? Why not? Because seriously, I think I put it off for so long because I was worried. So worried I wouldn't be able to do it. And just that I didn't know how. I wasn't smart enough for it. And guys, mine, <laughs> I am the dumbest person when it comes to sourdough. And mine still is alive. Like, I forget to feed it. I don't measure how much I feed it. Like, look, I'm just going to do one big scoop. And... I put some water in it, and that's that. It feels so much better now that I got that workout in. I feel like nap time is the perfect time to squeeze a workout in as well because I feel like I have a new energy to tackle the second half of the day. Which personally for me, the second half of the day as a mom is the hardest part of the day because it's like you're kind of losing steam and it's so full on. It's like dinner prep, make sure you're engaging with your kid. You never know what mood they're gonna wake up in after their nap. Um, you gotta clean up from dinner. You gotta do bedtime routines. It's just a whole thing. And it's not always glamorous. but both babies are in bed. Austin fell asleep putting Belle down, so we're just gonna take advantage of that and kind of get some stuff around for his birthday. 
and I'm putting away dinner. Um, I think I said this earlier, but I put chicken in the crock pot and I didn't have barbecue sauce, but I was like, needed it. So I made my own using ketchup, brown sugar, vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, mustard, and a couple seasonings. And it turned out great. And this is how much extra like pulled barbecue chicken we have. So this will be great to use like in a sandwich, a wrap, over rice as leftovers. And then we made two massive barbecue chicken flatbread pizzas that were like so delicious. We had salad, so I'm cleaning that up. I don't have a ton of cleanup, which is so nice about crock pot meals. Personally, I try to do at least one crock pot meal a week just to save myself some time and give us a night where I'm not spending so much time in the kitchen. But I'm gonna like tidy up the house. I usually do the playroom, um, living room and kitchen, and then probably just like relax and do some reading and stuff. I'm reading a really good book on my Kindle right now that I can talk about in a second, but I already got his gift all put together so I can show you. I have it hiding in the basement. Um, but I did find like some tissue paper and stuff so I was able to make it look kind of cute. We have my card and then the boys card and I wrapped like tissue paper and everything and put it in this little white bin so I'll have that sitting out on the counter for when he wakes up. I'm gonna make biscuits and gravy and maybe um, hang up a banner or something. We usually do balloons and decor and stuff, but it just didn't happen this year. Like I said, I just kind of forgot. And friends actually ended up coming over and we like went to the park and so my house is a bit messy because we had like a little bit of a play date. So I'm gonna take care of all of that and do like my night routine. I'm, I always try to listen to like a podcast or worship music or something while I do this. It's like my me time. Kill two birds with one stone or plant two flowers with one seed. We have this coffee maker. It's not really anything that fancy, but my mom got it for me a few years back and we just started using it again. And you can set it to brew your coffee before you wake up. So I'm gonna set one to brew at 6 a.m. tomorrow, just a single cup. That way I have to get up at 6 a.m. and I'll have coffee waiting for me to motivate me to get up before the boys and read my Bible. I left my Kindle upstairs, but I'll go get it in a second. But I wanted to talk about the book that I'm reading because it's so good. Um, let me find it. Attached, The New Science of Adult Attachment and How It Can Help You Find and Keep Love. So, so it basically breaks down, you really just need to read it yourself, but if you're like really curious how your dynamic is when you're in a relationship, I think this book is specifically for romantic relationships, but it's also like, like applicable to parental relationships or family or like mother to kid or whatever. Um, there's like three attachment styles. There's secure, um, anxious, and avoidant, and it kind of talks about what you perceive relationships as and like behavior in relationships and things like that. And it has been so insightful and it, they even have like evidence to back it up and just like kind of telling you how to navigate life based on your attachment style and how it came to be. It's so good, and I feel like it's going to be so insightful for me and Austin to know our attachment styles. I already feel like I know that mine is an anxious avoidant, which is like the rarest form, but it's just really good and really insightful, and I love anything that's going to help me learn how to kind of work and operate better as a person and like um, interact with people in a better and more authentic way and just like understanding how our brains work because we are just so complex. I don't think it's a Christian book but I do think it is very helpful um, and I've been really loving it. I found it because I was watching, I follow Samantha Ravendahl on here. I used to follow like a bunch of beauty YouTubers. I don't know if any of you guys do but she's like a makeup YouTuber and she went kind of ghost on her YouTube channel for a couple of years. For, for like the last year and then she came back and basically gave a huge life update and was talking about 
her marriage and just things like that and her husband then did a video with her and they talked about things and he shared about this book and I was like that sounds really good and whatever he learned from it and so I wanted to read it myself as well and I'm really really excited so far about what I'm learning from it so anyways I'm gonna read and like I said I already cleaned up the house and stuff I'm gonna go up and take a shower and I'm gonna go to bed early because I gotta get up early and set up the birthday decorations and like make breakfast and stuff I'm so excited I think he's gonna be home tomorrow so we might be able to spend the day together but I hope you guys enjoyed just like spending the day with me. This feels like a classic vlog. It wasn't as much as like of mom stuff. Um, it's probably a pretty short vlog as well, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you go out of your way today to love on someone and make them feel extra special just because they are. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.